Right? Pantone? The game? What? How can you- what? What? Hi and welcome back to my channel. I have another sweet unboxing for you today. It is for Pantone. The game. I know! What? Is this like the nerdiest thing you've ever seen or what? I'm so hyped right now. I'm so excited. I first heard about Pantone the game from my really great friend and author and artist Justin Castaneda. If you watch this channel, I talk about him all the time because he's just great. Go follow his channel right now. Pantone the game, right? What? What is Pantone? What is the game? What is the Pantone? What is the game? For the uninitiated, Pantone is a color matching system. You've probably heard of the letters PMS. All right, all right, all right. So it also stands for Pantone matching system. So major industries, they all use the Pantone system just to ensure color consistency across printing and across digital applications, okay? So here are my Pantone books. I have three of them. Pantone matte, Pantone solid, uncoated for uh, surfaces. The matte and the uncoated refers to the surfaces that you're gonna be printing the colors on. And coated. So you'll see these have, look at that, colors up the wazoo. All the colors you want, all the colors you need. I, it's just, you know, when I need just some time to just be happy, I will just look through colors. It's, look, at, look how joyful that is. All right, so that is like a really quick 101 on the Pantone matching system. When I heard from Justin that there's a game, I was like, so do you just guess, like they give you a code 215C or something and you're supposed to guess, oh, that's red. If so, that's like, even as a designer who's knee deep in this stuff every day, that's, that's hard. I, I don't know. I, so it's like, how can you possibly make a game out of this that's enough to, to sell and to be profitable for this company? Well, we're gonna find out together, okay? All right. Uh, okay, so let's get into this, uh, my trusty Exacto. Please be safe around Exacto knives, okay? They're little, they look like they're harmless, but it's it's a blade, okay? And one wrong move, you can just you can you can lose a foot or at least very severely cut it. All right, cover it back up when you're done. All right. Hand tone the game. Here it is. Okay, so right now I, I like how simple, first of all, how simple this box is. It looks like a Pantone chip. Very clever, very clever, guys. Very good. Um, okay, uh, ah, okay. This is how you open it? Is it, uh, oh, it's a drawer. Oh, what? You know, I should have probably like read the back. Let's 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 discover the back together. Let's pump the brakes before we circle second base. A colorful game that is as easy as one, two, three to play. Well, we'll see about that. I don't know. We'll see. One, select a character card. Ooh, characters. Okay. Number two, use color swatches to represent the character. Ah. Number three, the other players guess the character with as few hints as possible. That's so cool! So like, for example, uh, okay, they have Abraham Lincoln here. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, one person who I think of right away is like Marge Simpson. Maybe I would do blue, yellow, green. Who is it? Oh, does she have red pearls? Blue, yellow, red, green. Maybe someone would guess that's Marge Simpson. So maybe this is where this game is going. If so, okay. So more than art and design nerds can play. This is already, this is promising if that's where it's going. Okay. Panto the game challenges you to create recognizable characters with a few well-placed color swatches. Like an artist, carefully arrange the colors to reveal a character with the barest of essentials. 
When another player guesses the character correctly, you both score points! Aw, okay. I like games like this. I like, I like this already. Do you guys like games where you have to guess who the traitor is in your group? I don't like those games. Like, those are fun, but then, like, you st Okay, I digress. Content, we have 132 character cards, 60 swatch cards and 15 colors, watch card tray, these rules. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, I wonder... Okay, this might be uh, the actual gameplay. All right, I'm gonna lift... I'm gonna lift this to see. Okay. Nothing underneath. That's this is pretty much it. So we are gonna put we're gonna put this back. So the, this unboxing, I guess, is essentially done. So this is what you get. You just freaking okay. So that's it. Here are the cards. I wonder if they're categorized in any way. One, two, three. All right. Oh, ooh, okay, so yes, these are, looks like these are the character cards that they're talking about. So right now they have Dracula and Tigger. Ooh, Dracula's tricky. Tigger, obviously, orange, orange and black, right, for the stripes. And then these are the, the, the chips, the Pantone chips. The swatch cards in 15 colors. What? Why just 15? Oh, okay. Oh, this is great. So they limit the number of colors that they use. Okay, so it's not like this insane in the membrane, like, whoa, what, how, what, you know? Okay, this is all right. So this is, this seems to be universal, approachable. Let me go ahead and open up the pieces because this is uh, this is an unboxing, right? So we got one set of character cards. These are cute little cards. What I like about this is that this game looks like it could be portable, maybe? Ooh, I wonder if there's a digital version of this game. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Like, if you have an app and then you can all, like, connect somehow? All right, so right now, ooh, good quality cards. They're coded, so they're kind of, they kind of slip a little bit. Okay, so looks like we have a variety of different characters. Dracula, Shrek, Batman, Captain America, Master Chief. Bart Simpson, the Simpsons, huh? Barney the Dinosaur, what else would you put besides purple? James T. Kirk, what? Oh, would that be like, uh, the, the, his, his gold shirt for the captain shirt, right? Right, and then, would it be blonde? Is he blonde? Ooh, that's gonna be tricky, okay. So they have like the points here. I'll show you one card. We'll bring up uh, Boba Fett. So it looks like they break it down by uh, each hint is worth, um, so the more you give hints, the less points you get. That's what it looks like, that's what it looks like. So it's like, the sooner you can answer, the better. Steve Jobs, funny, black, right? The turtleneck. Lara Croft, Prince, Barack Obama, Freddy Krueger. Okay, this could be really fun. Okay, so there is one set of character cards. I'm gonna open the other set and see if we get, uh, yeah, okay. Got to show you the back, each has a back. Here's the back of one, Panto in the game, and then, uh, ooh, Sonic the Hedgehog. You guys remember playing that? So it looks like each card has a different category of hints depending on who the character is. For example, C3PO has movies, protocol, six million language, it's droid. So if you heard those, you would think it would, you know that it was C-3PO. So let's uh, let's look at Kermit the Frog, another example. No hint, you would get five points. If you get another hint, let's say the television hint, you would get four points. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. You would get three points, and then um, the next would be Muppet. Okay, Muppet, it's like, yeah, two points. And then hint number four, Jim Henson. Like if you weren't getting it at that point, then. Just kidding, just kidding. This is a safe space to play games, okay? I'm reading some of the characters here. Green Arrow, Darth Maul, Waldo, Minion, SpongeBob SquarePants, Mario, Michelangelo, Oscar the Grouch, Rapunzel, Pikachu, Big Bird, Papa Smurf. So these are great, these are fun, okay, love it. 
And then let's look at the actual swatch. Only 15 colors, huh? Is that what all pop culture characters come down to is 15 Pantone colors? I mean, I think they've simplified it for the sake of the game, but... Huh, okay. All right, looks like we got, ooh, pretty. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. All right, so we have black, indigo, blue, green, lime green, yellow, orange, red, lavender, violet, pink, we'll call that beige, brown, gray, and white. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm getting more excited to play this game. So, so that's it. That's it. I, I wonder how the actual gameplay will go. Tell you what, why don't we put in some gameplay footage now? Are you standing over me? <laughs> Players fail to guess. No, but if you didn't tell oh, us that you yeah. didn't know he no, was just yeah, green just or whatever. It makes it tough because then if you put too many, it kind of like throws off. Mm -hmm. I think around. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, well. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Only one of each, huh? Yeah. It's from my point of view. Yeah. Sure. Um, I don't want to overcomplicate it. I guess I'm done. Okay. Zoya! Oh, the destroyer! I love that guess, but no. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, the yes. first. Hints. Video games. Oh. Mario. It is! Yay! Oh, you did it! Godzilla. God, this is really hard. Oh! <laughs> nice! Wait, what is this? I was trying to do Japan's flag. Oh! <laughs> All right, that looked pretty fun, right? I think we had a good time. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing of Pantone the Game. It is available on Amazon. Yeah, go check it out. If you end up getting it and you play it, let me know what you think about it and uh, leave a comment down below. I wanna know, this community wants to know. Let's get color nerdy with each other, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me one of these, subscribe, hit the notifications bell as well, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!